Okay, we're going to be looking at some problems on page number eight of your big ideas. And uh, this first section talks about domain and range. Hopefully you have learned that if you have that minus three, since it's inside the absolute value, inside the grouping symbol, it's going to either move it left or right. And that uh, inside moves backwards of what you would think. So a minus three is actually going to move to the right three. Hopefully you're beginning to figure that out, but if not, we always have Desmos. Now, I'm going to strongly encourage you to use the North Carolina testing uh, calculator. If you just type in North Carolina testing calculator, uh, the very first thing that's going to come up is Desmos. And then this is going to be the version that matches most close to the one on your exam. If you don't already know how to do that, I would bookmark it, click the little star, and that'll make it easy to get to on your Chromebook, uh, computer, or mobile device. And uh, if you want to download the app, there is a testing app version. I would encourage you to use that one uh, as opposed to the full Desmos version just to kind of get used to how things work. But you're welcome to use either one you want, I guess. Uh, if I have the problem now, it's just another thing if you're using a Chromebook or device that you might want to know is you can drag that Desmos tab away so that I can actually see two windows. So I can actually see my equation over here and I can also see my Desmos version. You just have to be careful not to drag it too far into the corner. Now, I think I mentioned yesterday that M of X is optional. I do not have to type that in. If I have a keyboard, the absolute value bar is above the enter button, so I can just type it in like that. Or if you're using a device, you will probably want to um, pull your function option down there at the bottom. Well, I've got to be able to get to it around my Screencastify mess. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to type because the function box has been hidden by my video recorder. We'll work on that later. So, x minus 3. You can't, should have a little keyboard, though, that will pop up and show you an absolute value and you can use it. I want to have there, I want to go to the right 3. So, there it is to the right 3. And I can click that point there to show my minimum of 3, 0. Well, at once I have asked you on these to describe the vertex, uh, which in this case is a minimum of 3, 0. So that is one thing I will also have asked you to describe your domain and your range. So your domain on this one is going to be all real numbers. The reason is it keeps going all the way off the screen. To the right, the x values get bigger and bigger. The x values also get smaller and smaller. I can go as far as I want to to the left. So x can be anything I want. It's all real numbers. And then the range, one more time, is based on that vertex. So for my range, what I can do is say my minimum was um, a value of 3, 0. So I can go up as far as I want. It has no maximum value on my Y. Whether I go to the left, I go up. If I go to the right, I go up. Uh, so the maximum is infinity. But my minimum value, my starting value is 3. When you use this, it's going to be a parenthesis with the infinity because you never actually get to infinity. I bracket on the 3 because you get right to the 3, and actually it's a point on your graph, so that's a bracket, whether it's a closed circle or a point on the graph. Now, let's go ahead and look at uh, one other one while we have this pulled up. On number 5, it's asking you to compare two graphs. Here's another thing I like about Desmos. I can type in the graph I have in the directions, and then I can also I type in an additional graph, just give myself some room to write there. And uh, the graph I'm going to type in here is the one that is for number five. And the nice thing about this one is it will automatically do these in different colors so I can tell which one which. And the question it asks is um, which, how has the original graph, the red graph, been changed to make the blue graph? Well, the red graph has been changed to make the blue graph by moving it over one two, three to the right. So your answer for number two would just be that the graph has been moved to the right three. So hopefully that'll help you see what to do on the problems on today's page.